Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. All right, amazing students. Let's get, I want to give you some tips, not just me. I'm going to get you some tips on how to be successful in a mastery classroom. So how will you be successful? And instead of me telling you, let's just for a brief moment hear from some of last year's students. All right, my piece of advice is to manage your time because you can easily get behind. So just stay on head thing. Um, outline your notebook at home so when you get to class, you won't have to like spend the entire time like pasting things inside. If you actually like do your work on time, you'll be okay. Um, take the practice boss battle a bunch of times so you memorize all the multiple choice questions. My piece of advice for you guys next year is to not get behind on three boss battles at once. That'll really screw you over. <laughs> I heard from that your uh, peers. I hope that, that those, uh, those tips will help you. Um, so let me give you what I'm going to call my tips. I'd say number one, you got to do your work. Uh, we talked in a previous video how important it is that you um, take responsibility and ownership, right? So do your work. Um, second one, of course, is take ownership. We talked about that. It, 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 this is your learning. I can't do the learning for you. You have to do the learning for you. All right? So step up. You can do this, right? Next, really keep up with your notebook. I've seen those students who don't keep up with their notebook that they fall behind. Uh, and that includes, one thing I've often seen happen is that students, um, over the course of the year, that the quality of their note-taking goes down and those are the students who don't pass boss battles and don't aren't successful and I don't want that to be you so really keep up with it and not just do it to just sort of fill it out but really really do it take ownership of what you're learning now one thing we haven't talked about is that one thing you'll discover is that all of your tests are practice tests and the practice tests are the actual test that you can take ahead of time now that's gonna sound weird it's not the actual actual questions but it kind of is because the way I set up the tests and the test banks is that I might have 10 questions that I've written, and that when you sit down to take the computer, it's going to grab one of those questions. So if you took the test, the practice test, 10 times, you would see that question eventually. Does that make sense? Now, some of these, especially like in a chemistry physics class, what we've got is we've got mathematical questions. And so you might get the same question, but you might have a different number of grams. You might have four grams of silver instead of three grams of silver. So the number changes. So of course the final answer changes. That makes sense. So practice test, important. And then there's these helper videos. When you're stuck, use the helper videos. They will so help you. <laughs> That's what they're there for. I know that this is a hard class. This has always been a hard class, okay? Students have always said, oh my gosh, this class is hard. And, and let me say this too. Sometimes I hear students say, this mastery model doesn't work for me. And honestly, from all the years that I've taught, I know that this works better because students have succeeded more. The, the statistics about the number of students who pass the grades, the scores, are way up. But if you are really struggling, you're going to say, hey, Mr. Bergman, you might say it's this mastery model. But trust me, it's not the mastery model. It's just that this is a hard class. And it, it's going to be hard for you to learn some of these things, or some of you to learn these things. But the beauty is I'm going to have more time to hang out with you more time to help you with difficult concepts. So make use of that. And I didn't put another one up here. I probably should have. Come see me when you're struggling, okay? I, I'm going to come around. I'm going to talk to every one of you in every class every day. So I'm going to have time to talk to you, and we can get that help right there in the class, right? Because I think the most valuable thing that I can give you is my time. And if I'm doing a lecture thing for 30 or 40 minutes, then I'm not really giving you individually time. I'm giving it to the group. And I need to give you individually time to help you and diagnose what you're struggling with so I can help you figure stuff out. That's what I see as kind of the most important role of a teacher. Anyways, these are, this is my advice for how to be successful in a mastery classroom. Uh, again, <laughs> I am so jazzed. I mean, it's the beginning of school. I mean, this is before school. I'm in here making this crazy video. And I, I'm just like, man, I can't wait to see you guys. Hey, see you in class.